Oh, one th quick thing before I show you this, I was going to mention, um, I try not to talk like Batman, but it's just because it's the after effects of having COVID. Um, my throat is still a little scratchy, so I'm not trying to be Batman. All right, hey everybody, Pop Can Dan. I am back at this property, 1826. This is where I got the Victorian large scent the last time and those cool toys from the late 60s. That was awesome, man. Uh, since then, what's happened since then? Uh, since my last time here, I got COVID. Good times, good times, COVID. I finally, uh, it, it, it called and I answered finally after two years. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, you know, I know some people get a lot worse, but uh, check this out. Ouch, ouch, man. They had a couple of trees came down. We had a, we had a storm up here in the uh, in Ontario, and I don't think it was down in the states, but it came across Ontario, and it was like monster, like not uh, what do you call them? Hurricanes came through. I mean, it took down trees everywhere, man. And and uh, first thing I thought about was this property because it's so beautiful. I'm like, <gasps> I wonder if this lady had anything to her property done, any um, damage. And sure enough, she had a th this tree had come down, and then there's one in the backyard that had uh, smashed their fence too, so crazy stuff. Anyways, the tree, uh, you can see it just beyond the, uh, just behind the, um, whatever you call that, that uh, glider chair. Uh, it's, it's the, the whole root system is lifted up. I'm gonna go detect around there, see, yeah, there might be something under there. Anyways, hey, enough talk. Uh, let's get rolling. First hole, I want something good. I'm only here for a few hours. They're coming to pick up this wood. I might have to bail out when they come get the wood because there's only one lane to get in here and they're probably going to block it. So anyways, we'll see what we get. All right, hang on. All right, here's a cool little uh, kind of dates the house, I'd say. Um, Mike and I had been over this, uh, this lawn already, but because it rained for 24 hours yesterday, I wanted to get out here because you know it's all that water's going to saturate in and uh, the signals will probably be a little bit better. So anyways, oh, one th quick thing before I show you this, I was going to mention, um, I try not to talk like Batman, but it's just because it's the after effects of having COVID. Um, my throat is still a little scratchy, so I'm not trying to be Batman. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah, right down on the lawn, it was, it was reading six inches down. There's a little piece of horse tack right on the front lawn. Nice little indicator, man. Kind of dates the house. I like it. All right, friends, got a coin here. It was a good signal, too. Uh, might be modern, though. But I'm just looking at the size. It doesn't look uh, big like a copper. Looks a little bit more like a quarter. Let me clean her up, and we'll uh, we'll find out. Okay, hang on. All right, friends, no need to panic. It's only a 1982 quarter. <laughs> oh, well, I'm on my way to fortune. All right, friends, I am right in front of the house. Like, I'm literally in, almost in front of the front step. <clears throat> I got a signal. It was deep. It was eight plus inches, but it was there. And it was not the most solid, but it was there. And I figured, you know what? I'm going to dig it anyways because it's really deep. And you know what I think I got? I think I've got an old, old bracelet. Now, remember, this property goes back to 1826. I'm looking at this. And it looks pretty heavy duty, and and there's a there's like a an etching of a uh, of somebody. It's almost like dancing or something, like a, a person. I don't know if they're dancing or what they're doing, but look at this. This is so cool. This is badass. <laughs> Check this out. <clears throat> All right, yeah. So I was like right coming up here, and I got this beautiful scent. I mean, I'm deep. Look at look at my hand is way down there, and look at this check this out friends i think this is like a, a wrist an old school wrist bracelet because it kind of has curves on each end and i wonder if it was round at one point obviously it's been struck by by something but look at the design on it get it in the sun i don't know what that is it's obviously somebody Either they're standing there and they're pointing, or it looks like there's something coming off their head too. I don't know. And then this here, 
this is this is etched in as there's something to that as well that's not just a piece of dirt this is amazing man i don't know what it is so this is what the inside looks like i'm i'm, I'm scraping away to see if i can find any kind of scripture in there but this is a badass find man oh i love it makes the whole trip out here worthwhile yeah man i'm telling you look at this i don't know i just don't know super stoked though super stoked all right man hey i forgot i forgot my mosquito repellent they're all over me today it's crazy they're gonna suck me dry <laughs> i remember when et was all dried up when he was dying there so i gonna look like after <laughs> anyways listen i got a good signal here it was like a 22 to 24 and I flipped over the plug, reading six inches, I flipped over the plug. You should see what's at the bottom of the plug. But that's not even the signal. This is insane. Look at this. Yeah, so I'm kind of right at the corner of the house here. And it was a nice big uh, plug. It was deep. Look at this. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? <laughs> what the heck? <gasps> Look at this old school what is it us oh, it broke in there old school whatever the heck this is it's old anyways let me clean it up and the beauty of it is that's not even the signal i still got to go find the signal but i'm going to clean that up first that is cool okay so i cleaned it up and you know what this is this ain't a bottle man it is a bottle but look i thought this was the top but it's the bottom look at this it's broken up here. I think this was like a perfume bottle. You know where you had the sprayer up here? Ch -ch, like the like the old... Ch -ch. Like, look at that. It's old. And there was obviously something there. There's nothing written on it now. But you can tell it's kind of curved where it would have had some kind of inscription or something. That is so cool. I'm going to show that to the landowner. All right. Now the fun part. Now i got to find my signal. <laughs> All right, the signal turned out being a bottle cap, <laughs> my luck. But the, anyways, look at that. That is crazy, man. What a find. Just thanks, bottle cap. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you something really cool here. And then I'm going to show you something even cooler in the hole. <laughs> right, so here's a picnic table. If you look closely at it, this picnic table is covering a monster tree stump. Look at the size of this thing, all right? I was just went around this stump and I got a great signal and it was deep. It was deep. Friends, what do you think you see down there? I haven't uncovered it yet. But to me, I think it's a key. Doesn't look like a full-size skeleton key. Here we are. It's covered in roots and stuff, but hold on. Oh, it's definitely a little key. Whoa. Definitely a little key. Look at that. <gasps> little skeleton key. <laughs> Very cool. Oh my gosh. It looks like it's almost broken on the end too. Let me clean it up. Yeah, that is an old, old key, man. Holy mackerel. You can see at the back, it's even like disintegrating. I think it's made of iron. Eh? It's not brass or so. Good save, man, before this thing is gone forever. Very cool. All right, another signal I couldn't turn away. Uh, it wasn't that deep. It was reading deeper than I thought it was, but it was only like two inches. And this kind of makes sense. Modern key. There you go. Neat little find. All right, check this out, man. This I was having trouble finding this, and there is still another signal in here I have to get tend to. But I found this in the hole along with a square nail. Check this out. This is a little intricate piece here. If I can get this focused properly. Look at this. It folds. I don't think it's bent. I think it just it's supposed to be folded over. But I don't know what it is. But it's a cool little piece anyways. Nice. Pat on the back for the pop can. <laughs> All right, man. Wow. Check this out. This was a good signal. It was like 15, 16, but it was nice. It was solid, solid, solid. Right by this uh, little Christmas tree. <laughs> it was about six inches down. I flipped it out. Man, oh man. Check this out. All right, here we go. 
six inches down and we've got ourselves a, oh yeah, we got ourselves a spoon, baby. Look at this. Oh, she's a nice one. I think she is fully intact. Yes, she is. Look at this. The same time, you're seeing it the same time I am. Nice old spoon. Very cool. Very cool. All right, man. <clears throat> I don't have it yet, but if I do find a buckle, man, I will sing the song. I'm going to sing it for Rob Schinkel, too. Uh, Niagara Rob, history seekers and Canadian seekers, history oh, bugger. He's going to get angry at me because I keep forgetting the name of his page. Canadian beepers and history seekers. Uh, check him out, all right? Rob Schinkel, he loves my song, Buckles and Spoons. He told me, sent me a message, he said, Dan, I love your song, Buckles and Spoons. I can't wait for you to find a buckle and a spoon so you sing the song. But unfortunately, I just got the spoon today, Robbie, so I can't sing it. I can just go, and spoons, and spoons. <laughs> anyway, we'll see. I'm going to go find that buckle. I'm going to get that buckle just for you, Rob. You hang tight. All right, friends. History came knocking today, and guess what? Pop can't answer. <laughs> Look at this. This is awesome, man. Right down in the hole. Right down in the hole. It was a no-brainer. You know what this means, friends? There was some serious jamming going on back here in the day, baby. Oh, boy. I bet they were just rocking out. <laughs> now, Iron Mike, uh, the Bradford Beeper, he found just over by the tree over there. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. By the big tree over there, he found another piece of this. So, wonder if it could be the same harmonica. Nice little find. All right, way at the corner of the property, you can see the truck down through the trees. They're starting to take the tree away that was broken or came down. Um, I'm way up here in the corner of the property, and I got a slammer. I mean, this was a no-brainer, man. And <laughs> check this out. Scored myself a trailer. Scored myself a trailer with two motorbikes on it. Sorry if you can't see in the sun here. There we go. Look at that. How neat is that? <laughs> Alright, another beautiful signal here, man. This was ringing 22. Four inches down. Look at that. More evidence of jamming going on. <laughs> Look at that. Very cool. Very cool indeed. All right, everybody. Hey, man, I'm going to close up here. Uh, I'm back in my garage, back in my garage. The reason I'm back in my garage doing the wrap-up is the uh, the crew that was there taking down the trees that had fallen in the storm, uh, they had big trucks and everything there, and they started up with the chainsaws. And I, just as I'm wrapping up, all the chainsaws started ripping, and I'm like, I can't even talk. It was so loud, you know, so I had to get out of there. <laughs> so I figured I'd come to the peace and quiet of my dirty, dirty garage. <laughs> Anyways, hey, good day. Some short, short. It was only three hours. I think it was three quick hours. Uh, but man, I got some good stuff there. I got that spoon. I got the uh, what else did I get over there? I, um, I got the, that skeleton key. Uh, but this, this is really cool, man. Like this. If you look at this, hold on. I'm gonna hold this up properly here. There is a person on here. And I don't know what's going on, but to me, I think it's a bracelet. It's heavy though. It's really heavy. It's really heavy. Anyways, find of the day for sure. It was deep. This is definitely the good, the real deal, man. So um, it was a good day. Definitely a good day. Um, Suzanne, such a nice landowner. She's uh, always, always willing to have me back. Uh, I just, she said, you just come up and knock on the door when you wanted the tech. And that's what I did this morning. I said, hey, I got a few hours. I want to go over. Uh, all the fields are planted, so I can't get in the fields anymore. So now I'm hitting people's lawns. Uh, and I just went and rang the doorbell. I said, hey, Suzanne, how are you? You know, any chance I could just swing detector? She said, you go for it right away, man. I'm like, hey, how cool is that? So that's how it goes, man. You just be good to landowners, man. Be good to them. Uh, they're good people. Uh, treat them with respect. Don't just, you know show up steal their stuff and take off man it's not the way it goes i showed suzanne everything i got there and she doesn't want anything so it is what it is all right folks you remember you fill in i'm not gonna see your holes you replace your c-shaped plugs 
you do them properly, man, all right? You need to do this. We need to make sure everything's clean when we walk away. The camper's code, cleaner than how you left it, all right? That's how we, that's how we get our permissions. Um, speaking of permissions, no trespassing. You gotta make sure when you go somewhere that you have permission to be there if it's a, not a public uh, property, all right? So that's number two. Number three, no bullying, folks, man. I'm, I'm, I don't know what it is if it's just people are sick and tired of, you know, COVID and all the stuff going on in the world. Everyone's getting all nasty online, man. Just, folks, just smarten up. Grow up, man. Come on. We're detectors. We're supposed to be good ambassadors to this hobby. That's what we do out there. We don't go spreading hate and, and bullying, stuff like that. All right, folks? Oh, I'm telling you, man. Brass knuckle. Pop you one if I ever catch you. Bullying online. Not cool. Not cool. Anyways, folks, <laughs> have a good one. Hey, just last thing I'm going to say very quick, too. Um, I got something coming up at the end of the summer. I'm going down to the United States. I'm going down for something. I can't say what because it's kind of it's not top secret, but I'm going to be making some videos out of this. And uh, I'm in the middle of trying to acquire a permission for a property. This is the same place I'm going to. 1680. 1680 this property is and it's a massive property. I don't know if it's ever been detected or not. I'm just waiting for back from the landowner. They're going to talk to me about it. Um, it's one of those things, though. If I do get the permission, I'm going to be giving everything back to the landowner because this is such a historical place, and you will you will see that um, when the video finally does come out. You will see. You'll understand what I mean by historical and why I got to be giving everything back to the property. Uh, but that's it, man. That's coming up at the end of the summer. I am super excited for that, folks. Have a good one. Uh, all the students walking by are starting to look at me. They're laughing. I'm out of here.